Hey, what's going on? This is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. Easter is coming, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to animate an Easter egg with floral patterns. You can use this technique on any kind of floral pattern or even write on effects on some script fonts. This is a very useful technique, and without further ado, let's get started. Now we're inside Adobe After Effects. We got our artwork imported into After Effects now. You can see what we have here. We have the center text layer here. And then we have a bunch of different elements that come together to form this illustration Easter egg. To animate this growing floral effect, to be honest, there's only one effect that we need. So let's go to this bottom flower here, which is this layer here. Let's zoom in on this bottom flower. And then I can solo this one here for now. First, let's use the pen tool to draw a mask on top of the flower. So basically this mask is gonna be a stroke that's revealing the flower. Let's draw a mask here, just one line. And then let's draw another one from here to here. It's gonna be a second mask. And then let's draw a third one from here to the center and then it can go to the bottom here and then goes up like this. So what we're drawing is a open mask. It's not a closed mask. And then we're gonna use these mask shapes or mask paths to add a stroke effect and then reveal this flower. Let's go to effects and presets, add a stroke. Now let's use all masks and then stroke sequentially. So it's going to go from the first one that we drew to the third one that we drew. Let's change the brush size to 60% or 60. And then click on this last one, paint style on original image, reveal original image. So if we toggle the end percentage here, you can see at the beginning, if the end percentage is zero, which is the beginning state of our animation, let's click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and then go forward 20 frames, change it to 100%. Now you can see if I play this, it's going to reveal our layer in the order that we drew the mask or the mask path. And that's how we reveal this layer here. And then let's go to my second layer, which is this green shape here. Let's draw a mask, click on the pen tool, draw a mask like this. That looks good. And then double click the stroke property, go to all masks change the brush size to 50. You see the brush is like covering the whole thing. We're using this bigger brush to reveal that layer underneath it, which is the original image. So we need to select this review original image. Now, if I toggle this end percentage here, you can see this is what happens. Let's hit a keyframe at the beginning when the end is at zero and then go for 20 frames, change it to 100%. That looks good. And now we need to do the same thing for all these elements. Now we have a mask on all these splash shapes. Let's just copy the first two keyframe that we had before and then paste it onto all the other shapes. Here we go. This is our animation. Now I just need to use a scale change for all the rest of the other elements here. From zero to 100 and then right click keyframe velocity, change it to 66%. Copy the keyframe onto the rest of the elements. For the Easter text, we also want to do a draw on effect. So let's just draw a path along these letters, just as what we did for the other elements, the other splash elements. Okay, and then we can add stroke effect. 
Now let's change the brush size to 60. Reveal original image, use all masks sequentially. Change it to 0%. Let's add a keyframe at 0% and then go forward, add it to 100%. Let's see what it looks like. If I solo the layer, Yeah, I think 20 looks better. That works. Let's preview this. This is what it looks like now. However, they're all coming out at the same time. So what we want to do is offset the keyframe so that they don't come in at the same time. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Let's do a two frame separation offset between these layers. Okay, that's our animation for one side and then we just need to duplicate the left hand side and then copy it onto the right hand side. Let's select all the elements on the left hand side here. Command Shift C. left and then duplicate it hit s on the keyboard and link this scale property and then change it to negative 100 now we have a duplicate of the same layer same animation let's see the whole thing right now there you have it that's your full animation Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. We will be publishing more videos like this every single week. Please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Hope to see you in the next video.